Greetings, everybody. This is Sibin Dimitrov, a.k.a. Adinsed for the Astro Wolf, and it is a pleasure to have you guys here for this next video. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys about a couple of the events that they are doing. Seven Pirates 10th Anniversary, Success Rate for Upgrading Equipment Increasing, Buy One Get One on Melange, Medical Center Capacity Increasing, The Holiday Store, and Sent Us an Expedition will begin. So, uh, that's kind of cool. Seven Pirates' 10th year anniversary. Seven Pirates has turned 10. It was not always an easy ride, but it had its moments of joy. We have prepared a series of exciting events, and we invite all our friends to celebrate with us for Server Pirates. For Seven Pirates. We hope that we will still be on the same road to celebrate our future triumphs. And uh, the holiday store will be coming up very, very soon. And uh, like I said, guys, the Casa Town Expedition will be coming as well. So I am very excited for that. Um, uh, that should be starting in literally less than a minute. So that is going to be very, very good. Um, but yeah, um, uh, I don't usually do the success rate for upgrading equipment until there is an event that gives you bonuses, like rewards, for using my lunch. But, uh, the whole day sport and the Castle Town Expedition will both be very nice things for us to take advantage on. <clears throat> that will be starting in one second. There we go, you see? That popped up on our screen, at the top of the screen. This is our daily, uh, sign-up. This event will be going for... Oh, couple weeks. 10th year anniversary. Oh, it was an aircraft carrier. I was right. Oh my gosh. It, looked, it looks exactly like an aircraft carrier. Look at that beautiful, beautiful ship. And you got little aircraft that launched from this bad boy. Woo! Oh, that is so cool. Oh, that is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. And then we have the Interstellar Gang Bounty event. So we have the event packs. Uh, give me two seconds, guys. Okay, so we are going to be one of the first three to get this. It is now mine. We are 171. I will happily take that. And plus we also got a little bit of yum yums. So let us quickly go ahead and take a look at the stuff that we have gotten. So we do... Ooh! Saber medals! There we go! So now, we have Saber. He may be very useful to us very quickly. Um, but yes, we have 9,649. The game developers gave us a double portion on those compensation rewards. So that is very good for us. We have 41,179 unlimited crystals because of that. Um, and a couple other really good stuff too. The mysterious Protoss transport troops uh, transports troops through this warship, and a mighty force comes with it whenever it appears in the battlefield. We are one seven one. That is now my ship. We look all pretty now. I'm just going to have myself. Uh, in a fun little spot so people can see me. I think here should be good. Ah, oh, so pretty. Look at that, we are launching little ships everywhere. There we go. Very happy with this. Um, but I'll show you guys some of the, of the other events that we are going to be working on. 
So currently, uh, we have these two packs here, right? So we are going to self-select and see what we got. We got the Dim Light, or we got the Broken Fortress. The Broken Fortress seems kind of nice, actually. Unfortunately, I do not have the money for that. Um, Broken Fortress is going to take a very long time to get, so... Oh well. Entropy Necklace. Whoa. Let me hold. I'm just getting these set up. Um, in case, you know... Barbarian Blood. Hecatobolus. Ooh, that is one of the ones I want. But unfortunately, you would have to spend a lot of money to get it. And I do not want to do that. Regulus. Nanto. Man. If I had... If somebody gave me $3,000 to go ahead and get some of these, I would happily do so. It is unfortunate. Woo, that's a lot. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the uh, self-selection. As you guys can see, that is how it works. This is the event where you can complete daily mission tasks to get more points. And then you can spend an additional $90, $100 to get the other items on this list. I'm not doing that. This is the Interstellar Gang Bounty event that uh, that um, uh, you can do 14 days worth of events and get extra yum yums uh, for your event, the stuff that you're working on. A medal to commemorate the 10th anniversary of Seventh Pirates. Woo! Wow, there's a lot of stuff that you can get from this. Seven Pirates 10th Anniversary Metal. Un uh, luckily for us, we don't need anything in this event. We might need to get ourselves another ambition, but that is about it. Um, this is kind of a fun one. Nothing that is useful to us, though. But you do get the chance to get 30,000 gold if you work on it. I just really wanted to get Saber. He should be very useful to us. Should be useful. Um, you already used 10 gold. Don't think I'm going to be using too much for that. Oh, but you do get Magri's. Um, not sure if that's going to be any use for us, but uh, yeah. Whoa, four days? Hold on a second. Oh, they changed it. Apparently, they're going to be having four days to prepare for the event. That is going to be interesting. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an insight on the event that they're doing. Like I said, um... Unless somebody gives me $3,000 to go ahead and get some of these new items, I am not going to be able to do that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. But, um, yeah. This is what our, what our aircraft looks like. And I am very happy... That I called it. That makes me very, very happy. Just look at how beautiful this uh, aircraft carrier is. And I actually watched a fun video on why aircraft carriers have this uh, secondary uh, uh, thing here. 
so that way you can have aircraft land simultaneously, while they are getting prepared to taxi, uh, and uh, launch themselves off of the air off of the aircraft carrier. Here goes a little plane. Wee! That little, man, look at that little sucker go! Holy heckaronies! And it just, it just drops off the map. That that is. That is such a fun little little uh aircraft carrier. So you see them coming for a landing too? That is kinda cool. And apparently this guy gets launched off the side. Like a Harrier. You can see that this is a slightly different than the rest. Oh that is so cool. But yeah, so apparently the reason why aircraft carriers have that uh, secondary, uh, what you call it, um, l uh, landing thing is because uh, that way they can take off while getting the other aircraft ready to go. So there's a lot less chance of impact and uh, collisions. And if there's ever a problem with the ship, and uh, your aircraft starts to have uh, issues and crash lands or is a little bit off course, you won't have to worry about the main island of the, um, of the aircraft carrier being hit. That also protects other aircraft from other damages as well and allows for more room because you're going diagonal and not straight. So that is why a lot of those aircraft carriers have that new look to them. The old aircraft carriers during World War I were these big, weird bricks. But now the new ones are more high-tech. So that's just fun as well. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, uh, these are the events that are going on right now. We have four days until the Kasatan Expedition. So I'm very excited to be able to be a part of that soon. Like I said, guys, it is going to be a long time before I can have any possibility of getting my hands on these. But I need to make sure that my expenses and bills come first. <clears throat> and then maybe later on, I can take advantage of this. But, uh, yeah. Very, very happy with this. Um, there should be more events coming up soon. I unfortunately do not need anything in this event. But that is also fortunate. Because all these items are things I don't really need. But like I said, I am bummed out that I do not have the money to be able to get these. Getting the, uh, well, I guess technically 2000 if I really wanted to play it. Because the Hecatopolis would be very good for Orochi because that will give him skills trigger rate. So, it is unfortunate. Plus also the Nanto. The Nanto would also be a very good one too. As you know, well, it does give us total damage reduction, accuracy, and critical weather. Six. Six. I think the critical weather, we would, um, we don't think we, we really need the accuracy, but the RWE is also a good one because that will protect us from that. So, yeah, so the Hecatopolis is really the one that I, I want to get my hands on. And maybe the Broken Fortress if I want to push it. But like I said, guys, it's going to be a while before we get our hands on that. So it's just going to have to be us with the uh, Aldebaran. But do not worry, the Aldebaran is still a very good one. So I would be happy with that. If I had only a thousand to spend, I would go ahead and get myself the Hecatopolis. Because the defense and health points is a really big beneficial piece and the part that keeps us going.
Plus, it also gives us dodge. And that is what also protects our uh, cyan shuttles and gives them a better chance to uh, heal whenever they are hit. So, yeah, pretty good stuff. Very happy with it. But uh, anyway, guys, this has been Sabin Dimitrov, a.k.a. Adinstvo the Astro Wolf. It is a pleasure to have you guys here for this video. It makes me very happy that I have a really cool aircraft carrier that launches little airships everywhere. And, uh, you know, this is kind of how, how, uh, uh, how ships should look. Ooh. And apparently, we have the opportunity to kill these big monsters. So I cannot wait to show you guys, um, us killing these monsters. I have a feeling that we are going to be able to win this no problem. But anyway, guys, uh. This has been Sabin Dimitrov, a.k.a. Adinstvo the Astro Wolf. It has been an absolute pleasure having you guys here for this video. I look forward to, you know, to being, being able to, to see you guys in the next video. Always remember to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Because, like I said, the faster we get to a thousand wolf pack members, the better. So, it's going to be a very good time for everybody. Uh, let's see. Oh, and also remember to hit that notification bell. Because like I said, I've been notified that that is the reason why a lot of people are not getting their stuff watched. I personally think the Protest skin is pretty awesome, period. So yes, there are two kind of real-life attributes. Uh, the two real life thingies, uh, the aircraft carrier and the uh, Apollo. But uh, but yeah, guys. Um, I definitely think that uh, you know, you guys should hit that notification bell because since Ark of War is doing that new system where they are uploading our videos over to their channel, there should be a lot more people viewing our stuff and hopefully, um, what do you call it, uh. Checking out uh, our our content. So if you guys uh, have any helpful inside tips or you know tricks or uh, ideas to hopefully make the videos better uh, that don't cost a lot of money, please let me know, and I'll do my best to uh, you know uh, make that work out for you guys. Anyway, guys, this has been uh, Sabin Dimitrov, a.k.a. Dinsvo the Astro Wolf. Been a pleasure to have you guys here for this video. Look to, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. You guys stay awesome. And, al what? Oh, yeah, and always remember, God bless.